Hey, welcome back everyone. It is now April 21st of 2020 and ever since the release of Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker, a lot of fans around the world have been very intrigued about the future of the Star Wars franchise by Disney and Lucasfilm. This is Mike Zero. Make sure to subscribe if you are new to the channel for future Star Wars content. Now, the one thing about Disney Star Wars is that we do know that as of right now, a lot of changes are in fact being made to the new Star Wars universe. In case you guys did not know, this new universe really is going to be far larger than the old one that we got back in the 1990s and the early 2000s, which really does speak volumes by Disney. It shows us that they have great ambitions, so far at least with exactly how the future of Star Wars is going to roll, by Dave Filoni, Jon Favreau, George Lucas, and even, of course, Bob Iger and Bob Chapek that are currently working together as a team to really evolve the franchise, to really reshape exactly what the tones of these new Star Wars projects are really going to be like. And I think the one thing that really does spell a light at the end of the tunnel here is the fact that Kathleen Kennedy is no longer involved with any of the creative decisions for any of the existing projects in the early development phase. That, of course, applies to the new TV shows, the new Star Wars trilogy, and, of course, the new universe, generally speaking. Now, beyond this, of course, Disney Plus is their main focus. Disney Plus is going to be a platform for a library's worth of Star Wars material. We're talking about animated and live-action TV shows that are really going to give us different eras and different mythologies to explore. Now, on top of all this, what's really intriguing is that now that both Disney and Lucasfilm are finished with The Rise of Skywalker, they are focused on their new Star Wars trilogy of films, as well as the new Star Wars universe. Now, it's explained that both Disney and Lucasfilm have plans in order to reunite the fans around the world, to create a better future for Star Wars in general, and to create a better future for the Star Wars brand. It's explained that one of the projects in the early development phase is the Rise of Skywalker sequel series that will be in animated form for the Star Wars community to enjoy. Now, it's noted that the series is set to introduce the worlds between worlds and the concept of time travel that will feed into the story of Rey learning about the Jedi from the past, where the series is set to be based in a post-Episode 9 era, where Lucasfilm plans to have it start roughly three years after the events of the Rise of Skywalker, for starters, where they have a plan in place for the series to progress through time, to the point where a new Skywalker is born through, of course, Rey named Zane Skywalker. Not just that, but also the new series which Lucasfilm plans to drop sometime in 2023 on Disney Plus is set to offer the return of Ahsoka Tano as a force ghost in a new TV series that will make her way out to be a significant character in the show to help Rey. This was said to have been pitched by Dave Filoni and that this part of the story is planned to be the key for introducing the netherworld of the force and exactly what it looks like in the new TV show by Disney and Lucasfilm. Now, the sequel series is set to also explore more about Ben Solo's childhood in the form of flashbacks. One of the key story elements that creator Jon Favreau is said to be a part of is exactly how the new Jedi Order will be established. The new Order is described to take place on the world of Tatooine, where the series is set to introduce over a dozen new Jedi, following in the footsteps of Rey, including a side story planned where Finn will become a Jedi in the new series, as Episode 9 teased his Force sensitivity. Now, the thing about this that really does interest me the most is the fact that they are going to be introducing the Worlds Between Worlds. Now, I don't know if you guys knew, but the Worlds Between Worlds was an idea created by Dave Filoni for Star Wars Rebels. He is the man who introduced the concept of time travel, quote-unquote. Now, time travel in Star Wars, to me, yes, it works in an animated TV series, so it's pretty obvious as to why we would see it again in a new TV series that's going to have new animation styles. Now, of course, the fact that they're going to be aiming for more realistic animation for the sequel series by use of facial scans and stuff around those lines, it just tells us that they're trying to really introduce something more significant to the Star Wars universe, right? They're trying to really establish the worlds between worlds, get it more known, get it more out there, you know, boost the familiarity for a lot of casual Star Wars fans who maybe really didn't check out Star Wars Rebels. The other thing that I'm also excited for about the sequel series, which by the way, they're aiming for 2023, is they want to introduce the Force Ghost of Ahsoka Tano to play a major role in this new TV show. Now, this comes at no surprise, to be honest, because Ahsoka is apparently getting her own new TV series on Disney+, Plus, live action, portrayed by Rosario Dawson, and she's even going to appear in the Kenobi TV series, and even other TV series out there. 
that are actually going to be like around the lines of Mandalorian season one to, or should I say season two and season three. So Ahsoka Tano in the second season and third season of the Mandalorian is going to be quite significant for starters for a lot of fans that may not really know all that much about Ahsoka and maybe they didn't watch the Clone Wars or Star Wars Rebels. So that's going to be a very interesting transition to see exactly how it's all going to play out. And like I've said before in the past, when we think about Star Wars, right, everything related to this brand, that's what Chapek and Iger are trying to do during these times. They're really trying to evolve it to really restructure the marketing and the overall style of Star Wars. So with that being said, guys, you know, drop a comment below. Let me know think about all of this in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.